Yo, what up? DJ Zimmy here to talk to you guys and girls about Serato Flip. Um, I don't know if you've messed with it or not. It's crazy. I heard about it a year ago or so at the Playlist Retreat last year. Saw a really great demo. Got really excited. Oh my God, I'm going to use this. <laughs> and I totally didn't use it for like a year. Uh, had all these ideas. Then I just said, you know what? Screw it. Got on a call with my buddy Matt from Serato and he sorted me all out and it is crazy. So if you're like me, you're super busy, whatever you're doing, but I'm going to go through a couple things that I think are going to help you no matter who you are. Um, flip, really good for making clean edits. Some of you guys out there playing hip hop records, some stuff you don't have cleans for, cool. You don't wanna keep two versions of the same song in your laptop, cool. You just make a flip for a clean. Um, short edits, you got a 12 inch but you wanna play all the parts of the 12 inch, but you don't wanna play eight minutes of it. Cool, you can just jump around in that track. Um, creative stuff, you got a sample, you wanna do a flip, you wanna just do some tone play, do some word play, you got an idea, you wanna save it. Just getting around generally in the track faster, super good. It's super easy and I had all these ideas listed that I was like, oh, I gotta make all these tracks, I gotta go into Ableton and take all this time to do all this work. No, you do not. You can just make yourself a flip. It saves it to the track. If I give you the track, it's already got the flip in it. You just have to turn it off. Flip has memory. It remembers if it's on and off all the time. If you always do the same thing with a track and you leave the flip on, there's so much good stuff. So we're going to get to it. If you have any questions, probably holler at Serato, but you could also hit me up and I'll see what I can do. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through a couple things in Flip. Um, we're gonna go through some making a clean, jumping around a track, doing some creative stuff. So the first thing you gotta do is, and I'm doing this demo on the Pioneer uh, DJM S9 mixer, which is super dope. So the first thing you gotta do is make sure you're online and you gotta make sure you have Flip installed. You have to purchase it. So go down here to My Serato, Extension, expansion packs and activations. It'll load what you've got going on. Go to your My Products. Boom, Serato Flip, you can see it's right there. I've got these other things, I just haven't turned them on. Sounds good. Okay, let's close that. So, Flip is up here in the top bar. So, um, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the beat grid. And you wanna use the beat grid because Flip uses what's called loop snap. And this is a good way for it to snap to the beat grid and make your flips very precise, which is obviously what you want. So, in order to make sure that you can access the beat grid, you've got to turn on simple sync. So go up here to setup, go down to sync mode in your DJ preferences. If you have it off, you won't be able to edit the beat grid or assign a beat grid. So you want to turn on simple sync right here. Go back to setup. So the first song we're going to use for this example is Van Halen's Running With The Devil. Uh, it's a great song. I love Alex Van Halen. He's an amazing drummer. But it starts off at one tempo and then it kind of jumps up. So what we're going to do is we got our first beat right there. So we're going to go into right here above the track information you see Edit Grid. So we're gonna hit that and you're gonna get this menu right here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're just gonna go ahead and set um, beat grid points, uh, warp markers like you're using Ableton as you go. So here's one right here, we're gonna hit set. You can tell there should be the second one. We're gonna hit. There's another one. And after you do this, you want to hit save. You want to make sure you save this information into the track. And we're going to hit exit too. We're going to pop this track out. Uh, I was told by the guys at Serato, sometimes if you don't eject the track, uh, it doesn't necessarily save the metadata. So we're going to make sure we want to eject the track after we edit the beat grid, do a flip, whatever. Um, you can also hit the X button on your keyboard as a shortcut if you have to play the song the whole way through. Um, you, you can just hit the X as it goes and it will save it in there. Don't forget to hit save at the end. But if you look again, you can see the beat grid markers we put in. 
are in there. Sweet. So we know it's quantized now. So let's go through the next trick. Okay, so to show you how to use Flip the easiest way possible, I'm going to just do um, some censoring in a song. So let's say you've got a song and you want a clean version or you don't want two versions or whatever, you want to just edit out a certain part. There's a couple different parameters in Flip. The Flip will start recording whenever you hit a cue point or the censor button. So for this example, we're just going to censor like you would censor out a swear word. So your Flip menu is right here. Go ahead and click that and you get this little drop down menu and you also see over here you've got your cue points, your flips, and your loops. <clears throat> so this is the arm button. This is arming the track to record the flip. This plays the flip. This means the flip is on. This loops the flip. If you record the flip with the loop on, it will record it as a loop and it will just keep looping whatever, whatever you do over and over again. So you probably don't want that. You might save, always save at the end, and loop snap. Loop snap is where it's going to jump to the beat grid. If you hit a cue point and it's slightly off, it's just going to lock it and it's going to make sure it's good and crispy. So what we've got here is... Okay, we've got the Jim Sharp edit of Joe Bunn's Pump It Up. And just for purposes of this song, I'm just going to show you some centers. It's not even going to be on swear words, but it's going to give you an idea of how to set up a loop. So here's where we're at. And a key thing to remember is whenever you start um, the arming of the track, that's where it kind of starts recording, but that's where you can get into the flip. So to explain that better, one of the questions I had was, let's say I set a flip in the middle of a song, but I forgot to start it. Like in my mind, I was like, oh, do I need to start the flip at the beginning of the song, even if it's the whole way down the middle? No, you can just start the arming right before the flip if you turn the flip on while the song's playing, it will catch the flip and do it. You can leave the flip on, you can leave the flip off. You'll see what I mean when I do it. Another cool thing to remember is um, the song saves the flip. It saves it in the metadata, but it also remembers when you last used the flip. So for example, uh, I'm gonna put a flip in this track, and if I give the track to you, the flip is in there. So, here's the song we wanna start. So we're gonna go ahead and just arm the track right here. Now you can see the loop turned on. It default turns on. We're going to turn that off. So it's armed, but it's not recording the flip. This is the, the beginning of the armed portion of the track. So we're going to go ahead and run through this. So we're armed. We turn this loop off. Here we go. We're gonna hit save. Now right here you can see this is the armed area. We're outside the armed area, okay? So we saved it. We're gonna go over here. Here's our flips, just like your cue points. You can name it. We're just gonna say crappy sensor because that was crappy. We're gonna go back up to uh, where we were at the beginning of the song. First, we're gonna eject it just to make sure it saves. Load that back in. Now you can see, as soon as we load it right over here, it says crappy sensor. It's on. This is if it was looped, that would show up. And this is where you can play it right from the flip. So we're going to go back here. Right before it starts. Boom. And there's our, there's our flip, okay? Now obviously you could just use that. You just want to edit a couple swear words out of a song. You got yourself a clean version, whatever you want to do. It's saved in there. Piece of cake, right? Saved me so much time. I used to have, you know, you got 90s hip hop songs. They're super dope. You can't find a clean version of it. You still want to play it somewhere. Really good way to do that. So, next thing. Jumping around in a track. Super easy. We're going to go over here. We've got Poetic Justice. We've got Kendrick Lamar and Drake. We're just going to skip Drake because nobody wants Drake. I get it. So what we're going to do is, and this is another cool flip function. If you add cue points to a track, use it to make a flip, then delete the cue points out. It saves the flip. You don't need the cue points anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna add a cue point here just so we have it so we can see it. Okay. And the next part is Drake's verse. But we're gonna skip that. We're gonna to go to the second chorus and we're gonna basically put a cue point at the exact same place. So what we've got now is we've got a cue point that I just put in there to let us know this is where we're gonna to wanna to jump. And the second cue point we put in is where we're jumping to. Now, we're gonna go back to the first cue point. Here we are. We're just gonna put the playhead right there. You don't even have to have the track playing, okay? We're gonna arm flip right at that playhead. We're gonna turn this loop off and we're literally just going to hit the next cue point. Okay, save. Let's go ahead and name this No Drizzy. And let's go back up here to the top. Okay, No Drizzy's on. You can get it, you can get it. And I know just, know just, know just, know just, know just what you Every time I write this. Boom. Okay, so we're right back to where we were in the next verse. No Drake. We don't need all that Drake in our lives. That's totally fine. So we're going to go back up to the top here. Don't forget, exit out of the track just so it saves the information in. You can see when it loads, the no drizzy flip is on because we don't need that drizzy in our lives. I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to delete the cue points. We're going to go into flip. We're going to make sure no drizzy's on. Here we go. Let it play. Boom. Right to the end of the track. No unnecessary cue points. No unnecessary Drake. And that's what we're always going for, right? No unnecessary Drake. Now, another cool feature of Flip. Uh, you can just do it on the fly. Piece of cake. Inspiration strikes. You're just in the mood. Whatever. So we're going to load this track in here. This is... Eric B is president, Scratch Bastards, Pass the Plugs, Remix, Little De La Soul. Okay, so on your mixer, and I can only speak for the S9 here, you've got your parameters right here. And you'll notice when we were flipping before, so let's go back to Drizzy Drake, you'll see how we've got this red parameter track right here, the right parameter button, okay? That's our flip. So if we're in the song, <laughs> That takes us right to the flip. So the left parameter button arms it, gets us ready to rock, records whatever you're doing whenever you either hit a cue point or a sensor button, and then hit it again and it saves it, okay? Now I always like to make sure I turn the loop off in case I want it, I don't want it, so here we go. You hear the song, you're like, oh man, this is super dope. So you go ahead and hit the left parameter button. Now it's armed, you can see it's armed. I'm gonna turn the loop off, and here we go. Boom, okay, just recorded that. Hit the left one again and turned it off. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's go up here. Let's call this one Rando because it was very random. Okay, so we're gonna go back up to the top. Let's eject the track, make sure it's saved it in there. Rando's on. All right. I'm about to get busy. Boom. And if you wanna get back to the flip, just hit the button on the right. So on the fly, you're just having some ideas, you're messing around. Left parameter starts it. Don't forget, loop is going to be on. If you don't want it, turn it off. Get busy, finger drumming, whatever you do. Hit it again. Don't forget to hit the save button. Eject the track to make sure it's written in there. You're good to go. Super quick. Last but not least, get a little bit more creative on this one. So what we've got here... We've got Bob James Lookalike, okay? Premiere sample. Pretty fresh. You know, you're doing a premiere set, you're just feeling yourself. Okay, so what we're gonna do is back up to the top. We're gonna arm this guy. We're gonna turn this loop off. And there's our loop. 
boom. Come up here, call it Prem, because we're just trying to be like DJ Premier, because he's the best. Okay, let's kick our track out. Make sure we got it saved. It's that simple. Again, this is something where you might try to make a sample edit into the remake because you're doing a premiere night or whatever, but you could also just get the sample dialed in at home, play it, you know, finger drum it out live, or if it's pretty complicated, get it set up so it's nice and crispy, bring in the gang star on the other side and you're good to go. So um, again, the information's in the track. If I gave somebody my copy of Bob James Lookalike, the MP3, um, the premiere flip is in there. And you've got all this space to save all these flips. I mean, there's so much you can do. So um, I literally, you know, I, I, I got some amazing support from uh, my homie Matt at Toronto, and he was just showing me some tracks. And I could tell he had all these different flips and ideas saved in there for every track. So it really just opens up a whole new possibility of what you want to do uh, with these different songs. Again, um, if you have a question about it, Serato has amazing support. Instagram, Twitter, hit them. Uh, go into the Serato forums. There's all kinds of guys with ideas, uh, showing you different examples of what they're working on. But this opened up like a whole new window for me. And obviously, like I said, I had that big list of tracks that I needed to bust out in Ableton um, to make all these edits. And I literally ran through them all in one night and just did them like at home where it was super mellow. Um, and again, uh, you know, like I showed you guys before with just lining up the tracking, hitting the cue points, I don't even need turntables. I don't need, you know, I can do these offline. So it's super simple. So thank you guys so much. And uh, holler if you need anything.